Welcome! In this video, I am going to explain to you steps to do classification or prediction with Bayes. Some basics on the Bayes theorem. This is a, is a probability-based theorem where it focuses on the hypothesis of a data sample X belongs to a class C. So the classification task is to determine the probability of certain hypothesis that belongs to the uh, given to the observed data sample X. To do this calculation, we need to have three values which are PH, PX, and PX given H. PH is the prior probability or the initial probability that X will buy the values depending on the attributes. And PX is the probability that the sample data is observed. PX given H is the likelihood or the probability of observing the sample X given that the hypothesis holds. The steps can be further described by this. The posterior probability is calculated first, constructing a frequency table for each attribute against the target. Then, these frequency tables are transformed to likelihood tables. And finally, the Navier's equation is used to calculate the posterior probability for each class. And the class with the highest posterior probability is the outcome of the equation. Let us use an example to decide whether a person will play golf or not depending on the weather. So let's say we have information about outlook and humidity and and these are the data or the records based on a person's decision to play golf or not. We are given a new data to decide whether the person should play golf or not when the outlook is rainy. When the temperature is cool, humidity is high, and wind is low. Let's try to look at it manually and see whether we can decide the play off. Rainy and support can see here. Then we can see temperature is cool and leisure. Then we can see humidity is high. By looking at this, we don't have humidity high. So we can refer to this. And this maybe. And then looking at the windy is true. And this one. So probably play golf would be no, according to this uh, manual illustration. Now let's look how to calculate it systematically by using Bayes. Again, it utilizes all the attributes that has been provided earlier. Then, we have to calculate the probability of X is yes and X is no. Let us see the data again. From this, we have to first calculate the pair between Play golf is yes, and rainy is, and uh, outlook is rainy. So it's here, and also here. So based on this, we can see y is 9. Why y is 9? Let's the rainy. Now we have two red and two. So two out of nine. Then look at four. Let's count how many four we have. This 
single for this. Again, 3 out of 9. And we replace the value. And for that, we can also see that 2. Windy is 2. So, cal calculate the value. This is for the humidity. And you have to, you can try to calculate for the You will get 3 out of 9 as well. And from this, finish the calculation and you get 0 0.00, 0 0 5 9. This and you can standardize the value between 0 to 1 by using the separator. And from this, we can see that the larger value is not going to play. So, this is quite consistent with our normal calculation just now. But in this example, you can benefit that the naive bonus is a systematic measure to be able to the likelihood to do prediction investigation as well as to the 